Sandra here and welcome back to my channel and yeah today's episode um, I'm very happy to film first off I'm following on from the butterfly top video that I did yesterday and oh, these have grown on me so much um, this was the other one that I had that I was going to sell but I mean underneath this underneath this underneath this outfit i just love it and i've paired it with an ob belt a pink ob belt do you want to come say hello hello lulu said no um and then just a nice necklace and then for my shoes i have these they're like clog type things that i got from walmart i actually bought them in the spring well before spring i think it was about march i've never worn them just wanted to Give myself a little bit of height <laughs> and uh yeah i'm pleased with myself because i've knit another jacket and i've done a granny square one and it's taken me yeah a considerable amount of time should one say to to do it i've always wanted a granny square jacket i didn't want a really long one um just sort of a nice sort of this length and I know you want to see her so let's show you I'm going to call her Candy this is Candy and I did a multitude of different colours in this beautiful lady um, let's just put her on she looks nice with this outfit that's why i wanted to do a video i was like oh i look nice today okay so here is my newest lady i tried with the buttons and i just i have so much trouble with buttons that i just thought it's gonna have to be an open jacket i can't be doing with that um yeah that's a long story but but anyway anyhow she is she's a little bit oversized on me but for um moving into the cooler weather i'm going to be wearing a layering piece underneath this obviously um or uh you know maybe a sweater or something so i needed that space and this is how she looks what is it three weeks i've been working on her virtually uh, hours and hours every single day and uh yeah i just love all the different colors there's actually only six colors running through it um which is the yellow the green and this beautiful baby blue and then i also did the pink the red and then sort of a lilac -y kind of color and all i did was use those but made all my different squares in those different colors so and then i added the trim here and here um i just like that little bit of trim it just it just finished it off i thought and then the trim on the arms i was actually going to do more to it but i don't think i need to do anything more to it i think i'm quite happy with her the way she is so this is candy my darlings and she's mine <laughs> um yeah and i'm definitely going to be wearing her um with this outfit you know come the cooler weather at some point i would like to do sort of a really long one but oh it's just gray squares are definitely a uh what's the word a love <laughs> And I do love the granny squares. So, and the way that I, I learned a new stitch for this, because you know, you all know I'm a beginner. So I learned a new stitch for this, which was to um, join it. So I actually joined it as I went along. So each square, as I, as I did it, I joined it onto the next one. And I, I don't know, if you're, if you're familiar with crochet, you'll know what that is. But it gives it, I'm not sure if you can see, it gives it sort of this look where there's it finishes it off should one say and i've got the airiness of it you know with with all the gaps in it so 
so this is my granny square one guys and as opposed to i mean you'll see this is this is the granny i'm gonna need a bigger room at this rate <laughs> And this was the very first one I ever made. This one was the, um, I can't remember the name of it. The, uh, uh, oh, the hexagon one. This is the hexagon one I made. So this is one that starts up in the middle and you expand it as it goes along. And then you add the hexagons together. So that's how the hexagon one looks, which I love. She has her own look. Um, and then this lady, um, this lady took a lot longer than the hexagon one. Hexagon one only took maybe a week and a bit. This one took three weeks because <laughs> there's a lot, of, a lot of work involved with granny squares. And as you can see, this one, um, this one's got the lighter kind of colour. So I can definitely take her through into fall and you know, winter and spring, and spring will be great for, uh, you know. So I just wanted to show you my newest thing that I've just made. I know I'm very proud of myself for doing it. Um, and that is, that is her. So that is Candy. And uh, yeah, I love her. <laughs> Did a really good job of her. It's it's been a it's been a labour of love, and this is my outfit with the um, the top underneath, the the butterfly top, and just a corresponding ob belt. That's going to get sick of seeing me in the jumpsuit. So I just really like them. I love the versatility, um, and I just love the jumpsuit. So, yes. Thank you to everybody who responded to the butterfly um, video. I do appreciate it. I um, I enjoyed making it, and I'm hope hoping it gave um, you know it gave some good advice to people. I'm very so I'm very happy with that. And in the meantime, have a great Thursday. I think it's Thursday. It's got to be, hasn't it? Yeah, I think it's Thursday. <sighs> Have a great Thursday guys and I will um, see you all again in my next video and off to start my next crochet project probably a little hat to go with this top I'll show it you once I've done it uh, probably a little beanie that will match it now so but I'll give myself a day's break and my hands a day's break in the meantime love you all guys <laughs>